guys welcome to my channel my name is rachel banks and this is let's get planned okay so happy vlogmas day 13 it is december 11th and it is filming day so it's saturday december 11th and i get so hyped on saturdays because that's when i typically decorate in my planner so that's my little therapy um session um so before i get started with filming i like to have a nice little glass of matcha tea um and i use matcha powder from trader joe's and i dissolve my matcha powder in boiling water and if you have a handheld mixer it is even better um, to help with dissolving the matcha powder and then i let it cool for a little bit because i like I, I prefer iced matcha, um, but I will drink it either room temperature or slightly cold. Um, and once it cools a little bit, then I add vanilla, sweetened vanilla almond milk. So, so good. So good. Mm. And it gets me so hyped. So if you're one of those people who sometimes coffee will make you a little sick or nauseous um try matcha tea um because I, I have to have my caffeine and so that's uh one of the sources where i get my caffeine from um is my matcha tea so so good so i'm gonna have that um and i usually you know drink quite a bit to just get really pumped up um and then i'm going to turn on some tunes on my spotify Okay, so I love to listen to music while I'm filming. And the music that you guys usually listen to um, is from Epi Epidemic Sound. <laughs> I can't ever talk. Epidemic Sound. Um, and I have to go... I pay a monthly subscription so that I it's not copyrighted. Um, and so I go in... Um, and pick select songs you have to listen to like a lot of songs and you have to pull out the ones that you know you think that your know, people will rock to so you guys are always leaving me so much love down in the comment section when it comes to the music selection sometimes i try to switch it up a little bit i'll play some you know soulful music as well as just like some jazz um just so you know to give everybody a variety and to kind of hit people's, you know, what people would like. Um, so, yeah, I use Epidemic Sound for that. Um, so, I'm about to get ready and kick on this music. I'm about to set my camera up um, on my table mount, okay? Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and start filming. Another thing I do when I film, aside from listening to music, um, sometimes I watch YouTube, very relaxing. Um, so with that being said, I will check you all in a few minutes. Um, I probably will work in my, um, I'm thinking I want to film in my daily planner first. You guys know I use this Gold Matter Cocoa daily planner here. Um, and then the cover is from Erin Condren and she is getting thicker and thicker by the decoration. <laughs> um, so. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to kick that off and then I'll jump into my personal weekly. Um, and then I will catch you all in a few. I went in the morning when we was talking to Joy Grandma. <laughs> you said you going to make some baked chicken. I sure did. <laughs> yeah. Set us up. <laughs> yeah, you all about to get set up for some baked chicken. Hey guys. Okay, so I have finished, well, filmed two videos. Um, it is going on 5 o'clock. I'm about to go pick my youngest twin up from work. He works on Saturdays. Um, so I'm about to go pick him up from work. Um, it, it is chilly here, but it's not terribly cold, but it's chilly. Um, but the wind is insane today. It has knocked both of my reefs off my doors. Um, like... I don't even understand how it knocked the ring holder down that's on the inside of the door. That's how strong the wind was. I'm still confused about that part. Like, how was it able to knock the wind stand or holder out of the door? But anyways, both my reefs are down. One of my wind chimes is down. Hopefully not broken. I'm going to have to um, take a look at it. And it's the one I truly, truly love. So I'm hoping that nothing is wrong with it. Um, so like I said, I'm on my way to go pick my son up. I may stop downtown and show you guys. Well, I'll be downtown, but I may stop on Michigan Avenue, I mean, um, and show you guys the Christmas lights. We'll see how timing goes. I know when we get back home, I'm going to want to film another video and then I'll be cooking at the same time. Um, so 
kids want fried chicken wings. I want, so they want traditional fried chicken wings. I want naked fried chicken wings, chicken wings meaning without the flour. Um, but I don't know if I have enough vegetable oil at home. If I don't, then we will have baked chicken. Um, initially this morning, that was my intention was to make some baked chicken. So that's what you had heard when we first jumped on. Um, my daughter said that I tricked her because <laughs> um, I had told one of my aunties that I was baking some chicken. I had talked to, talked to three of my aunties actually this morning, which was really nice. Um, so shout out to my auntie Joyce, Mardina, and auntie Nita um, down in Alabama okay because uh, I had a lot of family in the south so that's where we migrated from well I was born here in Chicago born and raised but my both my parents are from the south so um, if you ever hear like a little southern twang in my my, my talk is because I was raised by two of the countries <laughs> country people not just playing um, but because my parents are from the south so you know you pick up stuff um, but anyways, I will check you all once I go pick my son up. Um, I don't want to talk your ears off. I'm on Lakeshore Drive right now. Um, on my way to get my baby boy. All right. Okay, guys. So, happy Vlogmas Day 13 or 14. I forgot what I filmed yesterday. But anyways, today is December 2nd. Um, so I'm just going to put the two vlog. Oh my God, this box smells so good. I'm going to put the two videos together. Um, I just woke up not too long ago, maybe like an hour ago. It's 8.13 on a Sunday, um, 8.13 in the morning. And I didn't finish out my vlog yesterday. Um, and I didn't go downtown to see the lights because I forgot I had the Illinois gym um, meetup yesterday at 7 p.m. So I didn't want to be wasting any time once to get back home. Um, and then I had but why but what live but why live come up but what but why live um yesterday so and it was good and they had a good episode yesterday um I always I try to tune in every Saturday when they have it it is so good so um and we like built a relationship it's like a whole little family over there so you guys should definitely um check out but why live and I highly recommend it that you actually um catch a live catch the replays but it's so fun when they actually have the lives because you you know talk to them in real time in the chat section um so it's it's a whole mood over there but anyways i'm opening up this um bath and body works box um that came yesterday i didn't even have a chance to open up this box because yesterday was getting a little hectic with filming picking up my son trying to get back to do the illinois gym live um you know cooking and things like that for the kids but anyways i want to share with you all some of the things that i got from bath and body works during their candle sale so i get this candle this is twisted peppermint one of my favorite holiday scents oh my goodness it smells like peppermints and it's not one of those weird scents that when you burn it it smells unusual it just smells like peppermints it smells so good mm, mm, mm. Okay, so I got two of those, my favorite scents. Now, Aldi has um, a version of this that is a, a fraction of the cost of Bath & Body Works. But then I was able to get this during the candle sale. It's still cheaper um, than during the candle sale. I have a couple of them. It's called Snow. Um, the only thing with the Aldi candles, and I know you have to go by your own experiences, um, but I've been seeing some terrible reviews with the candles burning up or whatnot um so i don't know i'm kind of weary of the all the candles right now um and then i got this pineapple mango oh, this is my favorite oh someone said i i prefer scents like this like fruitier um scents especially when it's like a, a, a good smell like this pineapple mango is really good and it's potent it's got a good throw to it um so i love it um so much but during the christmas season i like to burn this twisted peppermint now during the fall i will burn some of the traditional fall scents like a little bit of you know pie and, and cinnamon but once i burn it like one or two days i'm over it I don't know something about them fall scents is they are stronger and they're it's weird because i don't want to say it's not my cup of tea because it's like why did you get it if it's not your cup of tea it's not my favorite scents 
but I be in a mood for them at the same time, right at the beginning of fall. Like it's just, it, it lets me know fall is here. And then once I burn it, I'm over it. It's kind of like, uh, okay, I'm like, what is that black on the floor is our cat? Um, <laughs> it's kind of like, um, Holiday, like Thanksgiving food. Like once I eat it, and I'm done. Like I don't need it for the rest of the year. I don't have to have dressing any other time of the year except for Thanksgiving. Then when Thanksgiving comes, I want it. Once I have it, I'm like, okay, good, satisfied for the rest of the year. And I'm like that with the scents. Like smelled it. Okay, good for the rest of the year. Um, oh, this is my favorite too. This is vanilla and patchouli. This is so flipping good. Um, it's so relaxing. Ooh, when I'm in one of them moves where let me put some lotion on. I'm scaring the people. When I'm in one of those moves where um I just want to chill, relax. I burn my vanilla and patchouli. Um, I think I have another one of these already. I couldn't do much damage with Bath and Body Works um this go round, so I only got the four candles. Um, but vanilla and patchouli is my absolute favorite in terms of like a relaxation candle um and then the pineapple mango but let me show you guys some other candles that i've been enjoying these are not hauled candles like i didn't recently haul these but i've been um i just got them in my inventory my candle inventory let me share them with you real quick okay so i grabbed a few candles um that i love the scent so, so i grabbed the snow so you can kind of see what the label so this is the one from aldi they tried it. I mean, it, it, it smells similar to the Twisted Peppermint. But the only difference is the Twisted Peppermint smells like peppermint. Nothing else. Whereas the snow is a good duplicate. But it's got like a scent of something else too. Like a vanilla or fresh scent. And I'm I don't not necessarily crazy about either vanilla nor fresh scent. I, that's not my favorite. Um, and I know you guys are probably like, but you the vanilla and the patchouli but it doesn't smell like vanilla um so i'm not a big fan of vanilla and fresh scent but it's a good combo with the peppermint that they have in here um so i am i was trying to see if they had any notes on here no but it's a good duplicate um i usually go through these first and save these closer to actual christmas um and i burn one um, all day on Christmas smells so good so so good um another candle that I have I'm dusting off because I've been hoarding it um is this Hunter Ting Home so this is a um Aldi candle too and it is a dupe for I know I still have some in my candle inventory but I don't want to pull all the candles out to grab it but it's a dupe for Pier 1 um vegetable candle i know you guys like vegetables ma'am vegetables but it smells so good so this one is rupert and tomato vine and it smells like whole foods i like the smell of whole foods when you walk into whole foods whole foods smells like um what like incense <laughs> and freshness like i don't know it's something you know when you're a whole food like whole foods just has a smell to me let leave down in the comment section if you know exactly what i'm talking about um, maybe it's just the Whole Foods here in Chicago, but it has a scent to me and I love it. I love the scent and Whole Foods. It just smells so, I don't know, but that's what this smells like and it smells so good. And I know it doesn't smell like tomatoes. It's not like you, I'm smelling a lot like, mmm, pasta sauce. It smells like freshness. And if you have a garden, and it could be because I, I grow, you know, vegetables and stuff, but if you have a garden and you ever go out and you rub your tomato leaves and you smell your fingers most gardeners do this um because we like the scent of it it's that freshness it is so good um so i have my rubber and tomato vine that i've been hoarding from um aldi and i have some from pier one it's so good i think it was a limited edition so i'm holding on to that candle for dear life which i don't understand why but i am it smells so good but this is a dupe to that um and then this i have this crown grounding candle um from mia illumination this is a black owned candle shop so she hand pours these candles and you get some crystals in it and a little dry fruit so whenever i get ready to burn it i pull the crystals out and of course i um cleanse the crystals um but oh god the smell if you it's hard to describe let's see what do they have the notes on here it says black current and then this word, I don't want to butcher it, but oh 
OMG. It smells so, so good. I got that from Etsy. Um, I don't know if she has any more candles in her shop. That's why I've been hoarding this one. I think I got another one. Whew, that smells so good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I have this one right here that's from Pure One. This is Pink Champagne. Mm, smells good too. It's a lighter scent, but it's really, really good. Um, and then this Sweet Peach from Aldi, y'all. Oh, <laughs> this is so good. This is the Sweet Peach. I don't know why I did like you can smell it, but it is so good. Sweet Peach from Aldi is almost as good as the, um, it's a good dupe for the, the, pineapple mango oh it gets me in such a good mood i'm like in a good mood when i smell the pineapple mango and the sweet peach i don't know it just wakes me up i'm in a good mood it's another one that i get from pure one like i said i want to dig all my candles out but it's another one i get from pure one that's kind of like a peach scent so good my favorite candle shops um in order of candles like how i love it um is pure one and then bath and body works and then aldi has some good dupes uh, for a very affordable price so lately my candle inventory has been more oldie than anything else but then i you know i'll i'll buy stuff from you know smaller shops like this um i don't know why i keep opening it like you guys can smell it but from mia um illumination oh, this smells so delicious mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm trying to think of what it smells like, but it's 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 reminding me of something. But it smells, you know, how scents get you in a good mood. That's what that's what I gravitate towards. So these are my favorite types of scents. Um, so I'm about to get ready and cook some breakfast. Um, I'm waiting for some paperwork to come over because um, I have some business to take care of today that I need to review. Um, potentially retype it up, edit it, and retype it up. Um, so I'll be doing that um, shortly get my caffeine on um and i will check you all back in a little bit okay guys so i am checking in i just got through taking care of some business now i'm on my way to the grocery store real quick um to grab some things for dinner because i'm going to be making nachos tonight and we already have the ground turkey so i make ground turkey nachos we already have the ground turkey i just need to get um the tortilla chips some lettuce and you know the different toppings i like to get the pico de gallo so i'm gonna run to trader joe's and get those things i'm gonna pick up my mom she watched my one of my last vlogmas videos when i was talking about um the dried oranges that i like i'm gonna pick her up a pack of dried oranges um and i don't know if she will like coconut strips but i'm gonna definitely pick her up some dried oranges she said she would love to have that in her tea um so that i can drop that off to her tomorrow but yeah, um, it is still Sunday. It is 1 p.m. Um, I had to type up an important legal document and then um, we had to go get it notarized and you know, this, that, and the other. And so now that is done. I'm feeling relieved. That was causing me a little stress. Um, and, and now <clears throat> I'm about to head to Trader Joe's. I'm gonna flip the camera around. Um, to kind of show you my route to Trader Joe's, a little bit of uh, my neck of the woods. Um, so here we go.
Okay, guys. I am back in the car and got the little groceries that I needed to make some nachos. I got sour cream. I got lettuce. Pico de Gallo is going to make up for the onions, cilantro, and tomatoes. And Trader Joe's Pico de Mayo. Pico de Gallo. Pico de Mayo. Pico de Gallo is the bomb.com. Um, I did pick up a couple of the dried oranges um, just because I bought some for my mom and then um, some for my household because my kids have eaten all of my dried oranges. <laughs> I picked that up and then I like to get the uh, the what used to be two two buck chuck. Um, it ain't two buck chuck no more. It costs three dollars now. So I got my little Shiraz wine. I love it. Um, and it's the Charles Shaw wine, and it's very inexpensive. And I get a few bottles. Um, so if I want a little red during the week, I can have some, or on the weekend, um, I can have it and preserve some of my more expensive bottles. Um, so that's how I stretch, stretch. I got improvised. Um, so. Now I'm on my way back home and I had some other errands that I was gonna run today, but since I, it's what, one o'clock now, I'm gonna get home, get my kids up together for school tomorrow. I'll show you guys the nachos this evening. Um, I think I'm going to, no, I'm not gonna wait till tomorrow because it's been a hectic day already just working on paperwork okay guys so i will check you all when i get back home i'm about to um go back in and do the things that i told you i was gonna do i'm going to put on my pajamas i'm gonna get comfy light some candles um pour me a little wine um and then take the ground turkey out of the freezer um in preparation for dinner tonight so it'll be a fun chill night oh i picked up some tortilla shells because my husband likes to make um tacos the next day with the leftover ground turkey um and I did not buy any, you notice I didn't buy any taco seasoning, and that is because I make my own taco seasoning. All you need for some good, delicious tacos is sea salt, pepper, garlic powder, turmeric, cumin, um, and if you have chilies, you know, you add some chilies to it, but if you just add those few ingredients that I've mentioned, you will have yourself some delicious tacos. Um, sometimes I do throw in smoked paprika, um, depending on um, what I'm making to kind of give it that that smoky grilled kind of flavor. I don't know, the smoked, the smoked paprika gives it kind of like a, a delicious flavor. I use that on my grill, I mean on my, um, I use it on my grilled chicken. So in the summertime when I'm grilling, I use it on my grilled chicken. But definitely um, on my baked chicken too, um, it just gives it a depth of flavor. So I do sometimes add the smoked paprika in um, as well. But again, I'll check you all back when I get home so that I am not talking your ears off. All right. Okay, guys. So the nachos are done. I'm about to go serve my man his dinner. Okay. Um, if you are new here and or have not yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate you joining in for this Vlogmas video. Okay. And I will talk to you all tomorrow.